Hey ya, I'm Armin von Blessit and in this video I will show you a quick tip on how to make dynamic social images possible together with Yoast or actually any other metadata setting plugin or even theme. I will show you the options you have to enable in our WordPress plugin to make this work seamlessly. To show you this I have prepared a Placid project with a template and connected it to a fresh WordPress instance. Placid and WordPress make a great team. With our WordPress plugin, you can easily fill your Placid templates with data straight from your postings. For example, you can automatically create your open graph share images to improve your click-through rates without adding any additional work. A problem that you will encounter more often uh, in WordPress when you are trying to optimize your instance even further for, for social sharing or something like that is that you will come across open graph images that you are not able to change because they have been either set by a, a, like an SEO plugin, for example, that will automatically set the featured image as your open graph image, but most of the time uh, the dimensions are not fitting and it just looks weird and you want something custom, but you don't want to, to change it for every post. Or you have bought a template somewhere and now it's setting just like a single fixed image somewhere uh, in the code uh, fixed to this and now every page is the same image and these are just problems that everyone has and they are, there weren't any easy solutions for that until now. <laughs> uh, I've set up this WordPress instance and hooked it up to Placid where I have picked and created this simple template where I'm just going to fill in the the post title and and this should be displayed automatically for every post. We can also have a look, they are already created. As you can see we have an open graph image and a Twitter image for, for every posting. But the problem is it's not displaying because I have also installed Yoast and have set custom images with Yoast, at least for, for one posting. If I go into the front end, you can see uh, it's just a featured image, right? I have, in this case, manually set it through Yoast, so I have a good example. And then you can see in our source code, yeah, there's the Yoast image, or this could be any other plugin, or as I said, this could be even directly in your template and you'd have to uh, like edit the PHP code of the template to, to remove this. And then it would you would maybe have some pages that are without images because you removed it from the whole page. It's a mess, right? So, but we have, but we have a nice solution for that. Uh, when you go to the settings of our WordPress plugin, right here, under placid images, settings, and right at the bottom, we have essentially three options that are important for you. Uh, the first two are essentially remove tags. Uh, where we will try to get your open graph image, your Twitter image, and if you have configured an image to show up with Placid, we are going to remove any other existing ones or we, we will comment them out. Let's try this now. Let's go back to our homepage and into the first blog post. Yeah, and you can already see uh, this is now the Placid image. We can view the page source code. And you can see this has been replaced by Placid. Placid has just stripped out the other images and inserted, uh, and, and, and Placid has, has inserted its automatically generated images. And of course this works without any problems. When, when you change the post title, the image will, will be generated new and you will have a new image. No problem with that. And, and this is actually everything you need to do to make it work. You can, you can customize it, you can define if you maybe only want to have the Twitter card replaced, it's, it's for you to, to use. And as a bonus for, for example, LinkedIn, we also offer the option to change the OEmbed snippet. LinkedIn is, is one of the only platforms that is actually using the, the OEmbed image that's defined, that that's like a markup thing that's that WordPress is setting automatically, just a different type of, of metadata, and they are using the image that is embedded there before using the open graph images. So often, even if you set the open graph image, uh, it could still not work with LinkedIn, right? 
So we've also made something for that. But uh, keep in mind, this will change the like the featured image in the OMPED tag to the placid image. So uh, be careful and, and, and use it only when you know what you're doing. Yeah, and this was already it. With just checking three checkboxes, you're already able to override images that have been set somewhere statically with dynamic generated images by our solution Placid. And again, Placid will only do it for images and postings where we have an image. We won't strip it out if, if we don't have another image for you, right? Okay, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any comments or ideas what I could do next, uh, uh, especially in regards in, in, in to WordPress or other platforms, let me know in the comments. Bye. So that's it for this automation. You will find a link to our blog post with a step-by-step -step recap of this tutorial in the description. Try it out and tell us what you think.